Hi, I'm Subha. Welcome to my final project update. So our previous research showed that it is feasible to reverse type 1 diabetes in mouse models without insulin using embryonic brown adipose tissue or bat transplants placed in the subcutaneous space. The major aim of this current project was to find suitable alternatives for embryonic tissue that are practical for use in human patients. Now, adult adipose tissue transplants or adipose tissue derived stem cell lines alone fail to reverse diabetes, presumably due to the lack of certain growth factors that are abundant in embryonic tissue. So we hypothesized that providing these growth factors from outside would potentially enable adult adipose tissue to act in an embryonic-like manner and re-establish glucose regulation and correct diabetes. Now, according to preliminary data, the most likely candidate growth factor for this purpose is IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1. So here, we tested the ability of healthy adult bat transplants to correct type 1 diabetes when temporarily supplemented with IGF-1 from outside. The experiments were done in non-obese diabetic or NOD mice, which is a mouse model closely related to human type 1 diabetes. Freshly isolated healthy bat from a healthy adult donor mice were transplanted in the subcutaneous space of diabetic recipients. The transplant recipients were then provided with exogenous IGF-1 via daily injections for a week following transplant. So the results were quite promising. The group that received adult bat transplants together with IGF-1 supplementation show considerable reversal of diabetes at a 61% success rate so far, which is in stark contrast to no recovery observed in the uh, control groups, which included either no treatment or adult bat transplants alone or IGF-1 injections alone. So it is only when adult bat transplants were combined with IGF-1 treatment that reversal of diabetes was observed. And just like before with uh, embryonic uh, adipose tissue transplants, uh, these results were independent of insulin. Uh, so these results are quite hopeful and provide a strong foundation for eventual translation of this approach to human patients. To that, to that end, we are now seeking to reproduce the results with human adipose tissue transplants and to uh, further document the underlying mechanisms. Again, I'm very grateful for all your support, which enabled successful completion of this project. Thank you so much.